The Fort Worth Police Department Tactical Lifesaver Program is a class that's put together based on military training that trains officers how to respond in a medical emergency, how to treat themselves, a fellow officer, or a downed citizen until medical response can get to them. Describe what it is that this halo seal does. What, what does it do? A uh, halo seal is a plastic dressing with a adhesive material on the back that causes a airtight seal over a bullet wound to the chest area that prevents or helps treat a sucking chest wound. Okay, but I mean in this instance the person wasn't shot. I mean it sounds like it could really be used for any type of wound where you're concerned about somebody who's bleeding or... Absolutely. Its intended purpose is for the sucking chest wound and we have other dressings in here that could also treat that. The officer really just adapted to the situation and used what he had on him and it was effective in that instance. What is it that he said, you know, went through his mind or how is it that he adapted it? He said that he just had this equipment on him and he, the wound was so large that he just didn't really know what would be the perfect dressing to use on that so he used a halo chest seal. We tell them that when in doubt from the waist up to go ahead and use a chest seal we don't want to miss that sucking chest wound. Um, what is it that, that it was able to do in that, in that situation? It helped keep that area protected on the way to the hospital and actually all the way into the uh, emergency room. Is that important for you guys to do? Because I mean, I'm pretty, like you guys probably show up first before the paramedics get there. Talk about how important it is for you guys to sit there first. Um, the Tactical Lifesaver Program is a program that's adapted from the military program that's called the Combat Lifesaver Course. We've taken that program and we've adapted it with the idea that every officer should be trained in basic life-saving measures as sometimes they're there when it's unsafe for MedStar personnel to be there or the fire department and those citizens or those downed officers need immediate life-saving treatment. So they're getting basic equipment and basic training on how to sustain life until they can get higher level of medical care. It sounds like, I mean, had this guy not had this, he may not have lived. The actions of Sergeant Burns probably did save the citizen's life. The equipment that we're using is actually the equipment that's recommended by the military's tactical combat casualty care. And what they are is a group of personnel that meet together quarterly and they review the equipment that they're using in Iraq and Afghanistan and make recommendations as to what's working and what's not and what equipment and life-saving measures we should be using. So we took that information and their recommendations and we actually used that to formulate our own kits and our training. In the case of Sergeant Burns, he just noticed that there was a 10 inch laceration on the citizen that was out on scene. And to help minimize bleeding, he decided to use the halo chest seal over the lower abdomen. Uh, like I said, that's not the intended use of this, but in that instance, it actually did perfect for what he needed.